Hi guys! For this ride, we're going to Marshall's where Leticia was on the 30th. And if you recall, on Thursday, January 30th, Leticia and Harley were over here at the Marshall's. Uh, Leticia later said in Spencer Wilson's interview on the 31st that they had gone to Marshall's to get some underpants because when they left the house they hadn't even been able to grab their things. They hadn't even been able to grab their underwear. And that would explain why they were at Marshall's. And while they were over there at Marshall's, um, they were met by detectives who took possession of the VW Jetta that is primarily Harley's vehicle but I am assuming that Leticia was driving the vehicle at that time because she does admit to Spencer Wilson that the keys to the Jetta were in her pocket and while Harley got cuffed for not producing the keys uh, eventually I guess Leticia stepped in and gave up the keys but I am thinking from the way it sounds like things went down that Leticia uh, uh, wasn't going out there straight up to say that she had the keys and Harley didn't and that Harley being the good girl that doesn't want to upset her mom or get her mom in trouble didn't throw her mom under the bus and didn't immediately say that her mom had the keys and uh I know that if I was in a similar situation, I'm of course, I wouldn't be suspected of murdering anybody or anything, but if I was in a situation where people wanted keys and where, you know, investigators wanted keys that I had and they were harassing or asking politely or whatever the situation was, my child asking my child for the keys, I would be right there volunteering the information that I had the keys and I would be, be producing those keys before my kid got cuffed it doesn't matter whether my kid is an adult or not i just you know i would go in mama bear mode and i don't understand why she let it get to the point where her 17 year old child was getting handcuffed and i don't know what the exact situation was because i know that leticia's story is that you know there were hands on guns and there were threats and they were threatening to shoot leticia and and all this you know drama stuff but she's into the drama she tends to embellish things to make them even better <laughs> for example you know when she uh texted in or emailed in whatever that she couldn't make it to work that monday that she didn't go to work you know she said that her stepdad have been killed by by being hit by a car uh, why not just call in and say hey my kid is sick I can't come in you know because it's not dramatic enough not exciting enough I guess anyway I also don't really understand how they ended up in a situation where there was no underwear to be had etc uh, I have not seen anywhere that she had already been uh named as a suspect and i think she herself was the one that was making herself scarce and making herself not be at the home and not have her things and you know i don't understand why if she was planning on making herself scarce she didn't just grab herself a bag before she left and um apparently on tuesday night Harley had been at the house and her mom contacted her around 1026 and had her go meet her in the area of Powers and Carefree, but she didn't give Harley the heads up to bring herself an overnight bag either. Um, I'm not sure what the situation was where they were staying. I'm assuming that maybe Leticia found them someplace to stay in the north end of town since all this stuff seems to be going on in the north end of town. There are hotels and everything down in the south end, and there's not really a big difference in prices of places around here. So, anyway, 
<clears throat> we know that she did need Harley on Wednesday morning when she returned the rented, uh, oh, which one was that one? The Kia. And that Harley picked her up, or Harley's vehicle picked her up. They didn't actually see Harley in it. They just pinged her phone in the area and knew that it was the Jetta that picked Letitia up from the airport at that point. And then uh, later on in the day, after Letitia's Volkswagen had been impounded and Letitia had her weird little shoving tissues in her pants and having a heart attack or whatever it was she was doing, ended up at the hospital, left the hospital uh, without telling investigators she was leaving, got picked up by someone, they don't know who, but then law enforcement says that she was reunited with her daughter. So, um, I've done a lot of other drives that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Hope, hope you stick around for them in the next videos. I've gone to the jail. I've checked out the uh, Norson Ranch area. Went back to, to the Green Gate. All with the new camera. So, hopefully you'll like what I've got for you. And I'll see you on the next drive. Please uh, comment and interact with me. I really like reading you guys' input.